Yo, what's going on, guys? Back again with a little unboxing to share with you all. Another fan's toys experience. Today I have Dune Runner, Hunk, and Magnum. Basically, your Beach Comber, your Brawn, and your Wild Rider Stunticon right here. Let me go ahead and unbox these all in front of you guys, give you all the experience. Um, most of you guys know that my channel is not really for the transformations, so I'll do a link in the description below to Team Man 978 my good friend who does transformation videos, tutorials, and reviews, and all kinds of uh, transformers and action figures, so definitely covers fans' toys, so de definitely check out Team Man 978 Alright, let's go ahead and get started with Magnum. It's one of the, uh, probably uh, the latest ones, Magnum, Hunk came out, and then Dune Runner, so Let's go ahead and break them out the box. Comes in your traditional fans toys style. Plastic right here. Boom. Let's get y'all to look up close. All right. Traditional fans toys packaging. And a look at the profile. Man, premium right here. Gonna do my traditional gentle style of kind of slicing open this thicker. I do have an MOC collection of sorts, all kinds of different figures. But when it comes to boxes of toys that I break open, I normally uh, toss those boxes, but fans toys, I always keep the box. All right, here we go. Fresh out the box. Very nice. You've got your traditional fans toys instruction booklet in the plastic and you have your spec card with credit card material right there. All right, took a little time to work down the tape. FT-31B. There you go right there. Man, so icy right there. Got that little film of plastic at the front. Most premium toys and action figures have that. Got a little bit of plastic. Got the old school styrofoam. And then, you know, I gotta do my traditional fans toys. Oh man, love it, man, love it. All right, got a blaster right here. Paint matches the exact uh, paint you have on the figure. Really good lines right there. And not too much other paint applications than that. You have an alternate face, and I'm sure this is an expression. Yes, it is. All right. And we have Wild Rider. Very nice. Solid right here. Just solid. All right. Really tight joints. Boom. Comes packaged like a G1 style figure that that has no articulation. <sighs> Clean, wow. All right, let's go ahead and give you guys a quick look here. Face sculpt, finish. <sighs> really clean back right here, not too much of a backpack. Hefty. And uh, shout out to QC Pass 30. Nice work. Look at that. Man, oof. Beautiful, beautiful ratchets. Translucent plastic. Clean lines. What's that die cast? Ooh, got the die cast somewhere in there. I, I feel the die cast. The heft is just there. Here I have him armed up. One thing I did notice out the package, everything is great, but it's a little bit loose with his head articulation. So maybe we'll apply a little bit of floor polish to that. But I mean, at least he holds the upper position, but uh, midway throughout the range of motion, it's it doesn't hold at all. So that is one gripe. But still, 
I mean, man, look at that thing. Excellent figure. For the next unboxing, we got Fans Toys Hunk, Braun. All right. Big shout out to TF Source. Big shout out to Net Cloud on eBay. That's N E T C L O W. And a uh, big shout out to Mascot Zone. And those are all the reputed sellers I got my fans toys from. Quick look at the box here. Very beautiful artwork. FT-42. Nice. Product shots. And a quick look at the profile. Very nice. Get the clean little cut here. Boom. Boom. Right. Fresh out the box. Let's see. Okay. Instructions right here. All right. You got your in packet instructions and traditional spec card with the credit card material. Got done working the tape down. Here we are. FT42. Incredible. Hold on, real quick. Let me try to catch that. Where it falls out. Got the drill right here. Masterpiece toys are always known for uh, an accessory from that one episode that you know. It's always that cliche one episode, but he's got the drill, really nice finish here. Very clean chrome. All right, to the side, we have an expression face as you would expect from fans toys. Got that guy. And you got your blaster. This one is clean right here. I love it. Boom. Really nice lines. Simple, uh, just one, uh, one color, but done well. And fans toys are always known for excellent paint work. All right. Traditional plastic on the front. And now you have your, oh, hold on. Got to. Oh man. All right. There you have it. Hump, AKA Braun. Look how solid that is. As demonstrated in a uh, T-Man 978 videos as well. Tight joints, uh, no issue with the head articulation there. Not loose at all. Traditional packaging with the stiff legs. Let's go ahead and bring that out. Clean, look at that. Oh man, incredible. Look how all the panels work well, so um, nothing really juts out from a distance. It's all really clean lines. Very, uh, just aesthetically pleasing. Paintwork is top notch, heavy, just die cast, uh, cold feeling right out the box. Really clean backpack right here. All the little details just like that. Look how perfect that is. Wow. Base sculpt right here. Okay, here he is sporting the pistol. As you can see, another look at those lines. Very nice. Also wanted to spotlight these shoulders. Catch that gold right there. Very nice. One thing I do have a small gripe about, it, it's not all the way perfect. There's that one knee right there. It's a little bit loose, so. But still, uh, I'm okay with that. I'll live with that, and I'm sure there's a fix for it. There you go, Fans Toys Hunk. All right, guys, in the wrap up the Fans Toys experience here, we got Fans Toys Dune Runner, AKA Beach Comber. Let's go to break them out the box. Very excited to get this one right here. Fans Toys is coming along. Uh, I have pretty much every pre-order I want right now. Um, the one that's eluding me is the Fans Toys Thomas, the Astro Train. If I can get that one, I'll be solid, but there you go, Dune Runner right here. Boom. Look at that artwork, man. Great. Dune Runner. Very cool right there. All mode. And product shots. 
profile. All right. All right. Got the booklet and the card. Quick glance at that. Here we go. Oh, clean. Look at the blue and white on that. Crazy. All right, um, I believe these are for alt mode. You could put them on the hood to give it a clean look, cover up panel work. Got a blaster right here. Um, wow, you got three alternate, uh, yeah, three alternate heads. And uh, more panel work, real nice right there. Let's go ahead and put those to the side, real quick. Do the tradition. Wow, Dune Runner is the latest, so oh man, that fresh smell. All right, here we go. Fresh out the styrofoam. Shout out to QC Pass Thirty Three right off the bat. Look at that. Oh, clean. All right, let's get you a closer look. I don't know if you're catching some of those metallic flakes in there. I saw a Team Man uh, 978's review on this. And exactly as described in his video, the backpack is one of the cleanest backpacks you'll ever see. Fun looking guy. Look at the visor. Look at the head sculpt right there. Nice wheels. All the fans toys wheels are, uh, they use uh, rubber uh, material, all legit. Real clean. They take pride in their chrome work. Right, another demonstration of how solid this figure is. All right, let's go ahead and break them out the G1 pose. <sighs> Man, fans toys traditional, just tight everything, everything is tight. guys one more rotation really clean lines <sighs> wow jumps right off the screen spotlight on the head sculpts here really like this smiling face I'm contemplating whether or not I want to use that one or uh, this guy right here this one here has the cool tech See all that? Very nice. And that actually uh, is cool because it reminds me of charting analysis. All right. And you have kind of a, yeah, you got a sound, a sad face. Yeah, because Beachcomber is not the fighting type. Here he is fully armed. Just a simple pistol, simple gray, kind of a charcoal color. Uh, no metallic flakes in there. Pretty simple uh, baseline pistol. All right, there you go. Fans Toys Dune Runner. All right, guys, gonna go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I appreciate all the love and support. This is what I do, unboxing, showcases. Uh, when I can get out there and get some hunting in, I'll try, but um, I'm a medical field worker, so and I do a lot of scans on a lot of COVID-19 patients, so it's probably best for someone like me, me not to be out on the street spraying germs. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's why I've been uh, going down this rabbit hole with fans toys and kind of catching up on my collection, uh, rekindling the fire with my original love, and that's fans toys. So yeah, treat yourself. If you haven't had any of these uh, Transformers Masterpiece scale fans toys, Give it a shot. Uh, they're on the next level compared to Takara Masterpiece, Hasbro Masterpiece, and I believe that they don't charge as much money as those as well. So give them a shot. You got die cast all throughout the figure. You got great aesthetics comparative to G1 cartoons, literally jumping right off the screen into Transformer toy mode. Uh, great all modes, uh, good transformations that are complex. And basically, yeah, just top-notch uh, paint applications and just a product that these guys put a lot of love into. So yeah, when you have a chance, 
Oh, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. I made that. Oh, you made it? Oh, it looks great. My son made me a little bit of coffee cake to go with my coffee. <laughs> All right, guys. Much love to you guys. Take care. When you have a chance, go spoil yourself. Get yourself some good bot. Good bots. Good. Oh, man. Just anyways. Much love to you guys. We'll check you out next time. Laters.